I will miss you. I will miss you so much. Take 45. Bedroom. Volkswagen. Let's rock. I'll never buy another Volkswagen car. Volkswagen made me cry. I'll never buy another Volkswagen car. I paid it off and it bought the farm. I had to sell my Volkswagen car. Just had to sing from my broken heart. Do yourself a favor, never buy a Volkswagen, don't do it, oh don't do it, rock on. Goodbye, and good riddance. And here I am driving my brand new car! Welcome back to the channel, welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa J, YouTuber, just uh... An average dude, I consider myself. I like to make videos. I like sports. I like movies. I like music. Just a vague generalization of things that I like to do. I also like to drive. Getting out there, exploring, creating content. One of the greatest tools I have found the past few years. The privilege, the honor, the freedom, and having a vehicle, a vehicle that is reliable, dependable, uh, gas efficient, comfortable, that is important to me. A few days back, I, Tampa J, YouTuber, went and sold my Volkswagen Jetta as I was singing in the beginning of the video. Hope you like that number. I sold it to CarMax. Now, why did I do that? Well, I have a long history. If you've been watching for a long time, it's all out there. I have uh, spent so much time, so much energy, so much stress, so much money, so much of all that I have spent on my Volkswagen Jetta. It was a 2011, I'm sorry, 2014 Volkswagen Jetta uh, 2.0. It got great gas mileage when it ran. I made a lot of videos with it, a lot of memories. I am thankful for those. But man, did that car spend a lot of time inside many shops in the Tampa Bay area. So, I paid off my Volkswagen Jetta about a month ago. Actually, it was November something. I finally paid off my Volkswagen Jetta. My payments were very not costly it was very inexpensive compared to car payments today also my interest rate was really good so over time it was actually better to keep fixing it rather than buying something new because the market had gone up so as i expressed before i just kept fixing it well i finally pay it off and something happened i don't know what's going on with that car or what was going on with that car but it it broke down on me on the way to work one morning and it was barely running to the point where I had my mom coming for from Indiana for the holidays and also we had company Chris's parents were over we had a lot of things scheduled things we wanted to do so the car was paid off I didn't have a car payment so for a while as you saw in some of my road try uh, roadside attraction videos I rented a car because it was pretty much just as cheap as a car payment. So I, I rented a couple cars for a couple weeks. Long story short, I finally was like, man, I gotta do something. Maybe I'll take my car and get it looked at one more time to see what's wrong with it. And if it's inexpensive, I'll fix it one last time. And then if anything happens to it again, if I were to fix it, 
and something were to happen to it again, that's it. I'm gonna go buy a new car. Last time. Because in that time frame, I was shopping. I was shopping for a new car, and I found out that right now the interest rates are specifically on used cars, not new car new cars. Interest rates are better on new. I found that the market was crazy, and no matter what I get, I'm gonna be paying an arm and a leg for a car. We'll come back to that in a minute. But so, what I did was I took my Volkswagen Jetta to a shop, a local shop, and I had it looked at. And I dropped it off and I said, please take your time with this. I just want to know what's wrong with it. I want to know whether it's worth my time. I was honest with them. I said, if it's going to be like astronomical, the car is paid for, I'm not going to do it. And guess what? Lo and behold, a few hours later, after dropping it off, I needed needed a new motor in my Volkswagen Jetta. I don't know what happened. I used to work for Napa Auto Parts for a decade. I know a lot about cars, specifically the parts and how they work. I don't know what happened to my car, but it was like a, a flip of a switch. And honestly, in that moment, when I heard the news, I felt so many feelings that I have never felt before. It was a bittersweet moment. Part of it was like, dang it just paid it off of course but the other side of my brain was like celebrating because that meant no matter what i have to get a new car so what i decided to do was sell my car the way it was carmax by the way carmax will take uh cars that don't run didn't know that i looked it up and i'm like okay so i dropped it off and i said hey give me a quote on this just so you know I was told it needs a new motor. They were like, no problem. They still gave me some money for it. So got rid of that. And that very day, the same night later, Chris, the girl and I drove over to a car dealership and drove a car that I have purchased. Well, I purchased that night. Another backstory before I get to the car. I have been test driving cars left and right for the last couple months in the background on the weeknights. I've, I've driven Hondas, I've driven Toyotas, I've driven Fords, I've driven Chevys, I've driven GMC, Chevy GMC. I've driven all kinds of things. And because I rent cars all the time, as you see me in my videos, uh, flying out, renting cars, I've, I've driven a lot of cars the past few years. So I know what I like and what I don't like and what I'm looking for. And that night, the other night, I purchased a brand new car. Now, I am going to be 37 years old this year, so uh, yeah, I have never bought a brand new car before. I've always gotten fairly used. I, I call them grocery store getters, like those cars that, you know, the old lady dropped off at the car dealership and she drove like to the store a couple times, low miles, but very old. You know what I'm saying? Those have been all of my car experiences, even the Volkswagen was, up until this moment. So I found that it was actually better, better, and not much more expensive to buy a new car right now. I was mostly looking for the better interest rate. I could have got a cheaper car. I could have, I could have got something with a little more miles. But I was doing the math, and I'm like, you know what? I drive a lot. I'm gonna put 20,000 miles maybe on this in the first year easy. I might as well with the interest rate, with my credit score, and all of that, I might as well finally buy a new car. And that's what I've done. That's the whole point of this video. It's a huge announcement because the car, I use it so much to make videos, uh, especially with the Florida Roadside Attraction Series. My Volkswagen is like, so heavily filmed with. I, I put my camera on the car, I get out, I stop on the side of the road. You know how it goes. If you make videos, the car is very, very important. Also, what is important to me? Comfort, safety, gas mileage, dependability. So I really did my research and I went with this car because I fell in love with it. I'm not gonna lie. I like it and I think I'm going to spend a lot of time in it. I also drive to work every day. I spend a lot of time around Tampa Bay on the roads Monday through Friday with my regular job. So I'm always in my car. So 
I made sure I did my research and I drove a bunch of cars before I made this decision. And uh, so yeah, you wanna see the car, finally? All right, watch ahead, let's get in. Are you ready for it? What kind of car did you buy, Tampa J? I can't take it anymore, let me know. Well, right now, I have purchased my brand new car, my first ever, Subaru. Manufactured in Lafayette, Indiana, Japanese designed, my very first Subaru. And look at that floor mat down there. Subaru Cross Trek, all wheel drive, gets about 33 miles per gallon on the highway. I think it bottoms out around 24, 25 in the city. It is crazy, it's like a starship in here. Look at this display, it's like a spaceship. I fell in love with this car, I test drove it, and I almost just immediately was like, this is it, but I didn't want to make the wrong decision, like the Volkswagen, so I slept on it a couple nights, and I dreamt about it, and it just, it just felt like me, and Chris agreed that when I was driving it, she was sitting right here as I was test driving it at the dealership a few nights ago, she agreed that I really like this car. Yeah! I know I needed something that I could potentially go off-road. Subaru manufactures only all-wheel drive cars. This car right here, made in Indiana, just like me, I thought that was cool too, is an all-wheel drive vehicle. It's made to go off-road, if I have to. Now, how many times have I done that here on this channel? A lot. I've been in some sketchy situations where I kind of had to rock my car in and out of a culvert or two, uh, you know, like a, a wet, messy muddle spot, uh, mud spot. So um, yeah, I shouldn't have a problem in this car. Does that mean I'm just gonna go, go off road and go as fast as I can and try to get stuck? No, that's not me. But if I need the all wheel drive, if I need that, I now have it. And also, I like the interior in here. Very rugged, won't stain too much. I won't spill too much coffee on it. This is a pretty cool car. It's an outdoor car, Subaru, Crosstrack. They have their Outbacks, they have their Foresters, and if you've ever watched the uh, the ride footage or the commercials or whatever, it's always like a young couple uh, out camping or going off-road, the Outback. And um, yeah, this just made sense for the type of person I am. I know for a fact that Subaru is a dependable vehicle. I've heard testimonies from people who have driven them. I actually, I actually almost went with a Toyota. Toyotas are great cars. I had one before also Honda. I test drove the CRV and the HRV. Those are very awesome cars. I actually almost bought the HRV, which is a similar crossover vehicle like this, but it was a little more expensive than this. This was a great deal. For the money and for um, the payment and all of that, uh, I found that the Subaru Crosstrack was my car. And I, I just like the look of it. I like the feel of it. It drives great. And I think it's gonna be a dependable vehicle over time. And you better get used to it because it's gonna be in a lot of videos, uh, specifically the Florida Roadside Attraction Series. Yeah, so there you go. Hey, look at this. A bunch of ducks came by to say hello. I saw a bunch of these ducks like this a couple weeks ago. Different park though. And just to show you the interior of the car right here, check this out. It's nice and spacious. Front and back, maybe I should unlock that. There you go. Big back seat. They gave us an umbrella, a Subaru umbrella when we purchased the vehicle. Also, there's plenty of cargo room. These seats fold down and creates a bed. If I wanted to sleep back here, I probably could. And I love hatchbacks. I miss my hatchback cars. I used to have a Scion XB, the little square thing. Having a hatchback when you're a musician or you just like, you're always in and out of your car, that was awesome. So now I am back to the hatchback club. Chris the girl has a Kia Soul. She has a hatchback car. This is something we need. Again, I can lay this down. I can, oh, check this out. I got this like shade thing here. I've got this mat, this like very durable mat here that lays across the bed. This car was made to be driven and that's why I love it. Check it out.
there's the front right there I'm really gonna enjoy this car and this car also came with a jolly green giant green beans no I actually I went to Publix earlier and that must have fell out of the bag whoops hey that's a cool cup holder and I always said I want black rims why because you can't really tell if they're dirty don't have to clean them as much I finally did it I got black rims this is quite a display on here check it out I've got the temperature I've got the forecast for later I've got Apple CarPlay I've got my car info I've got my Subaru this really breaks it down for you this is incredible also there's all kinds of weird safety features that I have to get used to on this there's a drive mode I can go snow dirt I can go deep snow mud not gonna happen in Florida I've got it normal right now we've got auto vehicle hold which is a cool feature so if I'm at a light and I let off the brake the car will park itself until I hit the brake pedal or I hit the gas it'll immediately go this allows you to move your foot off at a light and have the freedom to move your feet the car will hold itself in place that's a pretty cool feature I've got a lot of homework to do there's so many tricky and weird things I've been finding out driving in this car the last few days and uh, I'm excited about it it some of it does scare me it's like AI it, it'll like pull the wheel on you if you get too close to the to the line I can I can shut that off uh, which I normally do but it has that it is a very safe very new car I've never never had a brand new car I got this thing with five miles on it five miles so I'm I'm very nervous I upgraded my insurance because I just want to make sure I'm covered also I rent a lot uh, so I got extra I got beefier insurance for when I rent cars abroad when I say abroad out of Florida yeah so I, I'm being very careful I was very smart and took a lot of time researching vehicles um, if you're out there looking for a new vehicle I recommend Honda I recommend Toyota I recommend Subaru all of those are Japanese designed <clears throat> oh sorry got choked up 90% of those are all manufacturers made here in the United States this one this Subaru made in Lafayette Indiana they also make some Subarus in New Jersey uh, Toyotas are made all across the land Honda my cousin or I'm sorry my uncle he actually has worked for Honda in Indiana for 25 years he works on the uh, HRVs and I believe the, the Civic sedans um, no offense to those other vehicle brands out there 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 are good cars everywhere guys Hyundai Kia uh, even Chevy and Fords they're all putting that late uh, you know the the latest technology in them and they all sell warranties I got an awesome warranty on this car I think it's like 70,000 miles seven year drivetrain which I could very easily break very fast depending on how far I drive I'm planning on driving this car everywhere everywhere especially if I just take off and make videos across the country I'll be driving the Subaru well it's nice to meet you all do you like my car they're looking at it I think that's a yes they don't know what to think of it I don't know what to think of it either I got a brand new car I got it all on my own duck fight ah! <laughs> stay stay away from my car <laughs> did he hurt you baby did they hurt you just had to announce this I thank you guys for watching this channel being a part of these videos um, this channel wouldn't be the same without you again I do this all for fun this is my favorite thing to do I like getting out there exploring the camera as sort of speak is just you know it's just a tool just like the car I fire it up and I have fun and, and that fun wouldn't be the same without you guys so thank you for always watching we've been I think I'm going on my sixth year as far as YouTube one or two of those years I was just kind of experimenting but it about the fifth or sixth year doing this uh, somewhat full-time I'm not a full-time youtuber because I have a full-time job in the background but if I want to make that a reality to become a full-time youtuber uh, that every you know it's I'm so close to that and I could very well do that anytime anytime if I wanted to dive all the way into it but I kind of like my lifestyle right now and um, yeah so what else can we talk about I've got a lot of plans coming up in 2024 uh, every weekend in January is booked and pretty much already 
every weekend in February is booked all the way through March and then pretty soon I'll be I'll be uh, planning my haunt season and uh, it's never gonna end guys I don't see it ever ending I love this I've said many times I'm gonna make videos until the day I die so if you want to see videos until the day I die and it's your first time Wow what a video to click on if it's not your first time welcome back appreciate you guys watching and sticking with me all the way to the end the end if you know what I mean okay it's a short one it's a sweet one I got a new car Subaru Crosstrack I'm excited I'm really liking this I'm gonna drive around a bit more well guys thank you for watching I am Tampa J and there's so much ahead I'll see you next time Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and no matter who you are or what you're going through, just know there's always much ahead. Bye-bye.